Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Simone Charisse and today in this video, we are working with OMG Her Hair. So I've done several videos with them and I love their units. You guys know that I've just like my 15th, 10th or I don't know, 9th video with them. So in this video, it was very simple. I got straight to the point as you can see and we're going to be customizing this unit um, as part glueless, part gel okay i'm not gonna say glue i'm gonna say gotta be glue so to get started i went ahead and i kind of just plucked this on my head now i did a little bit of a different method rather than my usual updated one because it was on my head so it's a little bit harder so if you are unsure on how to pluck your unit go ahead and click the link up above to go ahead and watch my very detailed um video on how to pluck your unit so Now, plucking your unit on your head is a little bit harder <laughs> than it is on a doll. Don't ask me why I did it on my head, but since it was already there, I figured I was too lazy to take it off my head. But it did come out good, so you know what? This might be a little option for me. This was my end result after I finished plucking, and I think I did a pretty good job. So I did the sides, the other side, and the middle part. Now to get started, I wanted to go ahead and do a half up, half down with a cute little braid in the middle, and I did this by simply parting one side. Now when you're doing a half up, half down, or any style, it's always best to start off with one side first and then work your way over to the other side. So here's my hot comb, which is really hot, and I'm gonna go ahead and just like flatten down this side now what I love about OMG her hair um, units is you don't have to wear a stocking cap the part kind of does the talking for you and this came already bleached for you okay so this unit already came bleached all I had to do was take it out of the packaging do my regular styling and put it on my head pretty much make your way over to the other side and I'm gonna go ahead and just flatten that as well and I love how the parts just look good without me having to put makeup on it. So that for me is amazing. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and straighten out my parts a little bit more. And then for the top part, we're going to go ahead and just do a nice braid going back. Now for me, it is super challenging to do a nice big braid going back. And I should say a nice big neat braid. It's very hard for me. So this is always a challenge. I always try to do this hairstyle and it never comes out right. So here I am attempting it once again, going slow as possible to make sure I catch every strand and my braid is as flat as possible. To so go ahead and hold my braid. I am going to go ahead and use a rubber band to secure the pony. And then pull it for a more tighter feel. Now it's time to fix the ends of the hair. And I'm going to do that by, well, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm going to cut the lace, cut the parts above the ears, and go ahead and cut the rest of the lace off. Now I am using moving the scissors in a more jagged motion so that's a little bit more um, of a natural hairline. And then I'm gonna use some gotta be glued, and this is the part that I meant when I said it's gonna be a little bit of gel. I only put the parts by the ears because if not, these flaps will be flapping all day long, and that's not cute. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right there and then swoop a little swoop swoop near the ears and move on to the next side after that it was time for me to curl the hair and i am going to be using this argan oil from um <laughs> argan oil <laughs> And I'm going to spray a little bit on my hair because the hair was a little bit dry. So I, I like to use this because it's a very light product and I feel like it doesn't weigh your, your curls down. But it also gives it that nice shine. So here I am just trying different curls out on the hair. The ends are straight on a few of the curls and then the ends are curled on a few of the curls. If, that, if you get what I'm saying. So after a few curls, go ahead and run your hands through the curls and then move on to the next side. And these don't have to be super neat curls. I wanted it to be kind of like messy all over the place, but still kind of cute at the same time. So. And 
And then I did go ahead and curl the hair on the ponytail because I wanted it to all blend. After that, guys, I'm just using my hands as combs and just really working my way in to really keep the curls nice and fluffy. This hair looks so amazing. I love how it looks really real and natural, and I love how the price is at a good price. So usually I'm always for OMG her hair. I feel like their wigs look amazing. That's just me. Um, and everybody else who has worn it, like this is an up close. I think it looks fab you -less, okay? Fab. So this is my hair, the end result for this style. I did wanna show you guys how it looks when it was completely um, down. This part is glueless, as you can see up top. The sides by the ears do have a little bit of gel. So you have like a two-in-one kind of look. And then if you wanted to wear your hair out to the side, I just took out my braid and then kind of fluffed my hair over to the, um, what is this, the right side, the left side? <laughs> and then just played with it and it looks amazing. So, um, I mean, I could have pulled my lace up. I mean, who's looking, right? <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very simple to the point and kind of how to style your wig straight out of the box, okay? And that's what happens when your knots are already bleached and the hair is already amazing. You're able to do this. So really love this unit and I love how natural it is. This is a body wave unit in case you're wondering. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.